Hey, how's it going everybody? Haseeb here. Hope you all are doing well. And in this video, we are going to see how you can connect your Zoom or Google Meet to send out automated links for meeting once somebody books a meeting with you or an appointment with you through high level calendars. So if I go to settings, by the way, I'm logged in as myself. So uh, if you are doing this for yourself, this is how you do it. Or if you are doing this for your client or somebody else from the system, I mean, for a, another user, make sure you log in as him from clicking here and uh, just clicking and switching to the user you want to do this for. So I'm doing this for myself. As you can see, this is my own account. I'm doing this for my own calendar. If I go to profile from settings, I'm going to go down here and I'm going to connect my Zoom. So it's just going to ask me a bunch of stuff like uh, which Zoom account do you want to sign in with? I don't want to show which account I'm signing in with. All right. So hopefully you'll get this straight. And uh, once you connect this by clicking one or two times in that pop up, you're going to come over here. You're going to select a Zoom. Keep this blank and update availability. Your meeting location just got updated. You want to override the meeting location in all the calendars you've been a part of? Yes. Okay. Now I'm going to come over to calendar section. Uh, I need to create a calendar. So what I'm going to do is uh, create this round robin booking. Make sure you have uh, like an assigned calendar that you are a part of. Like if you're not a part of that calendar, uh, high level won't recognize you or it won't recognize that people are booking uh, calls with you so make sure you do that so add user i'll add myself medium priority or whatever so zoom as you can see it's already here because i have uh, selected zoom in my profile settings and i'm gonna select book and i'm gonna write book an appointment all right okay now um just select book an appointment just write book an appointment with me uh book uh call all right neo that's fine just select a color uh come over here to select the availabilities i'll do that later uh you can do 20 minutes slot interval 20 minutes and just do all these stuff uh you already know how to do this right so save and continue finish this there we go. So the calendars uh, has been created. Now, if I go to automation and uh, if I come over here, so this is my appointment confirmation and reminder workflow. Let me actually delete this so I can show you from scratch how I did this. This is quite easy to do since uh, high levels got a few uh, workflow templates. So if I come down here, recipe appointment confirmation reminder. So I'll just select that and I'll create a new workflow. All right, so high level has generated this bit for me automatically. So I'm just going to get rid of this part and replace this with my own name. All right, so appointment is uh, event type is normal. I'm, I'm actually going to remove this. This workflow trigger is not suitable for me. So I'm, I'm going to say customer booked appointment and I'm going to select in calendar. There's only one calendar in my account right now. so. Uh, doesn't matter much confirmation email so here's where the fun starts i'm going to come over here when it is time please use this zoom meeting id so i've connected zoom right now high level is going to dynamically fetch the meeting link from zoom so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a custom value here from custom values appointment and then i'm going to say meeting location that's all i need to do really so i'm going to copy this and I'm gonna in my reminder email I'm gonna replace this uh, dummy zoom link with this email before one hour that's also the same meeting link it's fine everything is fine now if I publish this now uh, let's do a test once this update has been made okay so everything done in the workflow now let's go to my calendar and uh let's test it out so i'm gonna get my calendar link and i'm gonna try and select a date and time 
whatever uh, i'm just gonna fill this bit really quick so i've done uh the demo appointment booking and as you can see once i hit schedule meeting it, it actually sent me the meeting link dynamically generated and uh, fetched by high level and i should receive an email so let's let's go to my uh gmail to see if i've received a confirmation email with this link all right so here we go guys this is the uh, email i just received uh, according to my dummy appointment booking and this is my zoom meeting id and this is the uh the exact same process for google meet as well so i hope this video helps you understand how you can connect your zoom and google meet with high level and i'll see you in the next one thanks Thank you.